creatine. It works at a cellular level, the ATP cycle. Where is it found? It's naturally occurring in things like red meat. But for someone like myself, a performance athlete, or for someone who wants to build more muscle mass, maybe even perform better in the gym, you need to take in more. How? Through a supplement, a dietary supplement. How much? About five milligrams a day. When, before, or even after the workout. But know that it's on a three-day delay system, so what's ingested today will be used three days from now. So keep it in your system on a regular basis. Do you have to cycle off of it? No, you don't. Who is it safe for? Anyone over the age of 13. It's perfectly fine. Male and female both. Does it cause you to hold extra water bloat? No, because the water retention is at a cellular level in the muscle. It's going to volumize the actual muscle, not put water subcutaneously here. So you're not going to walk around all squishy looking. That's just a fallacy, an old school myth. Some of the best creatines out there, monohydrate versions, for an example, are really soluble. Never mind that. That was a shake weight, wasn't it? Really good micronized creatine does just that. It's super soluble. Mix it however you want to. Juice, protein shake, it's whatever. Big Ron Jones with tons of advice for your real world goals.